Hey everybody, Stem Sue Creates here, coming to you from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Um, I was just sitting, and um, it's the Monday after Thanksgiving, and I've been kind of lost to be in my craft room, so I'm, I'm doing some videos, and um, I wanted to get out some of my new product from the upcoming new uh, mini catalog. This is going to be the Occasions catalog, I believe is what they're calling it, but they're calling it a mini catalog. So anyhow, I started doing some um, mounting of my, my new stamps, because of course I got to get these babies inked up and get creating. So I thought I would do a quick video to show you now Stampin' Up! has two different types of stamp sets now. We used to have the wood, we don't have them anymore. But we do have photopolymer stamp set. This is one of the new ones coming out. It's called My Meadow. And um, this is a photopolymer stamp set. So you can see it's clear. You can see through it. Um, I don't know what more to say about it. But when you're... We have some of them made this way because there's a lot of components to these stamps. So when you want to build a scene or you want to put this wheelbarrow together, you'll be able to see right through these when you want to build them and stamp with them, which is a great thing. So we have a lot of them. This is a um, Timeless Tulips. This is another brand new one. This also is photopolymer. Sometimes you'll get a little staining. If you have an issue with that, check out this stamp cleaning pad that we offer in the... Um, in the catalog. It's great for using on photopolymer. Um, another photopolymer, um, Dressed to Impress. Another cute photopolymer. So those are photopolymers. They're see-through. You can see them. When you get them, you don't have to do anything with them. You need acrylic blocks for either one of them. Uh, makes storage a great thing because it doesn't take up a lot of room as opposed to what our old-fashioned wood blocks. And these are easy to clean. Throw them in your dishwasher. Use um, hand sanitizer on them or, you know, alcohol or something like that. You can clean that your wood blocks with. So um, we also have the cling mount stamp sets. So this is the Harvest Hello stamp set. Now, when you get them, let me show you one that, that's not done. This is a happy birthday to you. This is, going, this is a cling stamp set. It's going to be a free stamp set in the Celebration catalog. Also free one is going to be Sending You Thoughts. Um, and another one is the Gangs All Mirror. These are all the red rubber cling mount. So in the past, you know, when you get them, well, that's, that's where I was going with that. So when you get them and you open up the ones that have the red rubber, you're going to open them up to this and this. And if you're not familiar with what to do with this, I'm going to show you what to do with that. But I will show you how I do it now. In the past, um, I have done this. So um, you have your cling mount. It's kind of sticking everywhere. I keep this base part um, and I use it as though it were a puzzle. So I have all my little pieces. But as you can see, what happens when I close my case up, it ends up where everything is going to stick to the case. And I don't want that to happen anymore. So when I was mounting it, I thought, you know, there has to be a better way, right? There's always a better way. So I found it. Let me show you. Here is another new one. This is going to be a um, celebration host stamp set called Little Ladybug. Isn't this the cutest? I love this. Here's how I did this one. Look at this. I got rid of the red rubber. I kept this mounting sheet and you just peel your stamp off. You use it and you put it right back onto what the puzzle piece is and it's not sticking anywhere. Perfect. Let me show you how to do it. So simple. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Let's go ahead and do the happy birthday to you. So here is our red rubber and here are our labels. So what you want to do is you want to um, punch these out. Now who remembers back in the day where you would just get this on one big slab of kind of squares of red rubber. But Stampin' Up! has come a long way in that they already have these cut for you. You just have to pull them all out of there. Now, if you want to use these for dimensionals, you can use these for dimensionals. Peel off this um, red rubber piece. I haven't done this in years. And um, this is sticky. Okay, and the back is sticky. So you can cut these up and you can use them for dimensionals. I don't do that, but you can if you choose to do so. Okay, so now on the back of here is going to be a piece of paper. You want to peel that off. Sometimes easier said than done. <laughs> okay, so that's going to give you your stamp. So then you want to go on to here, 
and if you look closely it's the side that is the shiny side okay this is shiny this is matte you want this side they have this pre-scored for you you can see it just by kind of bending your paper it's usually in that midway point so here's what you do you peel that off okay and you peel that off and then you take your stamp and you place it right over there okay let's do another one let's do this big happy birthday you could just peel them all off have them all ready okay so we have the big happy birthday so we're going to kind of bend our paper oop a little piece remains you want to get that off and bend this oh and that did too i'm too quick in my ripping here should just peel slightly not so heavily so here's my happy birthday and we're just going to place this right along where that image is okay so what do we have here we have celebrate to you so we'll find where that little piece is there and there oh this is celebrate okay so it's one word so do you see how there's that little outline you're just going to take it and it's best if you put it on the surface and you're just going to place your stamp where that little outline is. And there you go. What else do we have? We got two more. So we have a two you. You have to be careful when there's these little teeny tiny ones. You want to make sure you're putting your stamp on the right way. So that. And then we have one more here. Which is. They're like little. Little dots. And you just place this. Oh, take the paper off. Make sure you take that paper off and place that over there. So then here you go. You want to use your stamp. You peel it off. You would stick it to your block, the right size block. Do your stamping. Peel it off your block and just put it right back on here. And put it in your stamp case. Now if you had dies to go with this, you can stick your dies on the other side of here. But this piece... We're not going to use, we're going to discard that, or I don't know if that's recyclable. I don't really know if it is or not. If you know that, let me know. Leave it in the comments and close it up. So it's just free, free floating around. We're not having the problem, like I did say with my Harvest Hello, where these sticky parts are going to get stick to here and then maybe lose their stickability. Is that what you want to call it? So yeah, so I hope that that's helpful to you. If you're brand new to Stampin' Up! and you're not really sure what this whole unmounted stamp thing is all about, um, that's what it's about. In the past, when we didn't have cling mount stamp sets, we just had clear mount, they called them. Don't know why, because photopolymer are the clear. These were the red rubber, but they called them clear because you needed a clear block. So you may have some of those. In the past, we didn't put the stickers on because they stuck better to the blocks without the stickers. But Stampin' Up! again came to the rescue when we said we need something that's super sticky. So cling mount stamp sets are the way to go. Now you do want to be careful when you put it on your block, okay, and you do your stamping. When you want to remove this from your block, very gently peel up because you can... This is on here so well, you can actually detach the rubber from the little foam. So very gently. You could even use the little um, end on your pick tool, the one that has this little spatula end. Take your pick tool to gently lift that off as well. So this is a great investment, by the way, if you don't have to take your pick tool. Um, and then just place it right back on there and close up your case and you're good to go. So I hope this is helpful to you if you're brand new to Stampin' Up! or maybe you've been around the block like I have. And um, we're looking for a better way to store your stamps and mount them so that you didn't have this thing with this stick in here all the time. <laughs> so let me know if this is helpful to you. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with other people that you know that love Stampin' Up! and you think that this will be helpful to them. So thanks so much for joining me. I have I hope you have a super stampin' day. I'll leave my, leave my online store um, address down below. Now these all of these items, whether they be um, celebration or they are from the upcoming new catalog, 
are available for Stampin' Up! demonstrators tomorrow, December 3rd. If you're not yet a demonstrator and you want to get in on this stuff beforehand, sign up under my Sweet Bee Stampers team. You can find that on my online store at www.stampinsuitcreates.com stampinup.net. I'd love to have you as a member of my team. But if you want to remain a customer, that's perfectly fine. You'll have to wait till J January 3rd. But who wants to wait? Join now. Get all these items for um, $99. $125 worth of product for only $99 and free shipping. And you'll get lots of new products. Alright everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.